Let this stuff run here at the beginning and we'll get started. Robot must never harm a human being. Yeah, I love Mega Man X. I'll be trying to comment on it to some extent, but if you haven't watched Ego Raptor's video about Mega Man X, you should totally check it out. Uh, it is an outstanding video that just sort of explains why this game is so good and what really makes it different from um, modern games. I'll be fine. I'll change it from input if I need to. Alright, so let's talk about what makes Mega Man X so great. Uh, I don't know. I can just tell you the name. Just look for uh, Ego Raptor Mega Man X. Like, right, first thing that happens, you spawn on the map, you don't know anything about a controller, you've never played a video game before in your life, right? There are no enemies to fight you yet, so all you have to do is just start pressing buttons to figure out what you can and can't do. You can go left, but nothing happens if you go left. If you go right, oh, now there's level. It's cool cars. There's an enemy that if we walked into it, we would take damage. We have to start pressing buttons to find out how do we get past that. So the first enemy teaches us about jumping, and the second enemy teaches us about shooting. Yeah, you should check it out, D-Rock, it's awesome. These uh, little icons are going to show up in my game here. We already learned about jumping from the earlier enemy, now we know we have to jump over pits. Oh, I missed the charge shot. Glad to have it again. Cool. It's a huge boss enemy. Alright, so again, great game design, right? I don't yet know about my ability to do this. Right? So how do they teach you? They don't have a little pop-up that says, Mega Man, Mega Man! You just have to press the, the A button to jump onto the wall and you stick to the wall. No, they just make you fall in an area where walking left does nothing. Walking right does nothing. So once you touch the wall, like, you see there's this little gap here that you fall in? When you fall in this little gap, you see, oh, I stick to a wall when I touch it. Then you realize you can press jump to get out. It's brilliant. Like, you play the game, you don't really appreciate it. And if you watch Ego Raptor's video, he basically just says all of that, just much funnier than the way I put it. <laughs> um, but it's called conveyance, and every game designer, or even if you're not a game designer, you just appreciate video games, you should appreciate conveyance. Like, how does the developer of a game tell you what you should do without, like, literally just making something pop up and tell you, hey, you gotta press the A button. But modern video games have that problem where they feel like they're compelled to always have some NPC popping up constantly telling you how to handle things. And people are smart. You don't need to have a little pop-up all the time telling you what to do. You can do it in a way that's more clever. 
that uses the gameplay itself. Yeah, this whole opening level is telling us everything we need to know about Mega Man X. And it's especially hard to put yourself in that mindset when you feel like... Yeah, I've seen on escape trailers. <laughs> It's hard to put yourself in that mindset if you've been playing video games your whole life. Because, like, yeah, whatever. I press the jump button, I press the shoot button, I get it, I know what I'm doing. But the fact that this game is accessible to someone who's never played a video game before in their lives is great. <laughs> right? As I was just saying, Apex. <laughs> Talking about the Ego Raptor video. Yeah, figure it out or die. Yeah, Apex. <laughs> I spent about the last 10 minutes just kind of recreating the Ego Raptor. This fight's really cool too. Again, Vile, you cannot beat him. You can't jump over him. You can shoot him, but he doesn't have a health bar. He doesn't die. So the game is teaching you, hey, there's this enemy that right now you're not strong enough to beat. <laughs> awesome. Now, you hear that, the game hasn't told you about the charge shot. No one has popped up saying, hey, hold the button and you can shoot a charge shot. Like, we just see this character shows up, it plays a charge sound effect, and that gives you the heads up that you can do that. So this music and both of these sprites are going to be in my D&D game on Saturday here. Yeah, I hear you, Cappy Man. I like the, the Minecraft style, too. Like, oh, why don't we just teach you by having you die? Oh, that's interesting, Hapax. Yeah, I didn't think about that, that you want to have him kill you as quickly as possible. But there's, I'm sure there's ways to take damage earlier in the stage that don't take time, right? So you want to have an enemy that hits you so you flinch forward. I think Minecraft has since moved to sort of a model of uh, it guide you a little bit with the achievements, which I think is also fine. That way you don't have to look at the achievements if you don't want to, but if you're honestly stuck, you're not having something that's just popping up telling you what to do. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That's cool. I am also 27, Arzilla. Yeah, I played this game around when it came out. This is one of my really excited to be renting it games. I am in the camp of preferring uh, Mega Man X games to the original Mega Man games, just because I really like wall jumping, I like sliding. It's hard, I like charge shotting. It's hard for me to go back to the old Mega Man games where I can't do that. Everyone's been on the Earth for some window of time. Some variable window of time. This is one where I'd like to have the slide right there. Blockbuster! Yeah, that's how I played all the Mega Man games. And Sprite's going to be at the very end of my adventure. The capsule. I think we're going to try to get the Hadoken in this playthrough. I might need some help confirming exactly what you do or don't have to do. I know you do Armored Armadillo stage after you've gotten everything in the game. And I think that it's bullshit that you have to not take damage. I think you just have to get to the end and die at a specific point three times in a row. And once again, the game 
doesn't have to have a pop-up telling you how to use that. It's just you get the legs and then he dashes. You're like, oh, let me press the button and find out what does that, you know? These Mega Man X games tend to, like, cramp up my hand because you're having to press all these buttons at the same time. <laughs> if you want to be playing correctly. So you always got to be dashing. A, B, D. Always be dashing. You want to always be dashing and you always want to always be charging as well, so... You want to not be doing that. I think I can get this. I think I have to come back when I have, like, the fire. Yeah. The secret for later. Is there a correct order as well, Apex, to do a 100% speed through? So you minimize, or is there any way to avoid ever having to repeat a level? At this rate, I'm going to have to come back here after I get beat uh, the elephant, Flame Mammoth. I always come here because I can't be without the, the dash boots. Imagine even if you have to come back here, it's worth coming here first just so you have that. We're doing so well. Okay, so there's no... Gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. I got cocky. Everything was going so well. I like how these boss fights incentivize charge shots. You notice that if you try to just spam a regular shot, they get like a uh, temporary invincibility just like you do. So you want to make your shot count. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go ahead and charge at me. No, you want to. I think we want to fight Spark Mandrill next. This guy gives us Shotgun Ice, which is also an ability that will be in the D&D Adventure on Saturday. Along with Atomic Fire from Heatman and uh, Thunderbeam? Somebody. <laughs> really? You gotta be kidding me, I always charge shot. Is that unique? Is that like a glitch with this game? This song is pretty sweet. Or is that true in Mega Man X2 and X3 as well? So that seems crazy. I believe you. Huh. Okay. 
There's a heart we can get here. Ow. Energy tank, rather. Might be we have to come back here if a different layout. Energy power up would be great right about now. I like getting all the upgrades. Like, the way I would actually do it... I haven't played Mega Man X enough times to have, like, the routes memorized or where all the upgrades are. I'll notice them when I'm playing and be like, oh, I have to go back there and get it. Um, I know the weaknesses. But if I did have it memorized, my plan would be to go get the upgrades in the order that requires the least repeats of levels. So I definitely don't need the ability, like, the Mega Buster is fine. The speedrunners do RNG manipulation. I mean, even just if they just did RNG to get uh, power-ups, but I guess it's not like Mega Man 2 where you need to have the power-ups sometimes to beat the level. Like refilling your your rush things, so. items I guess they're called in that one. through the boss only for that to happen. It's cool. Hey, welcome back, AMA. Really? <laughs> 
So I call my wife Lovely, right? AMA in chat right now. And uh, she was sad when I first started streaming because I won't call her that like out loud on stream. People on chat don't know what I'm talking about, right? So I G-chat her real quick and say, <laughs> I correct it. I say, hey AMA, and I type start, Lovely. One of those bosses you get really badly punished for letting it touch you. Yeah, did better that time. Hooray! It's lucky. Thanks, Andrew. Appreciate that. <laughs> Very helpful. Why are you letting that thing kill you? Could totally get that right now. I don't know if I'm supposed. There we go. All right. Hey, Gomer. How's it going? That was a gift from the game. We should have been hit by that earlier. Alright. Two health bars. Probably just try to beat him with uh, Mega Buster and save my ice for my second attempt. Better Rosilla. Hey Angel Asakar, how's it going? I should have been charging before I came in. Oh well. No. It's cool. Farewell. Man, his punch hits really hard. I like that they gave the weaknesses their own custom animations in this one. Like having him freeze, not just having him take a bunch of damage. I'm doing quite well. A delightful Mega Man day. Beat Mega Man 2. I want the helmet part, right? That's how I get the next thing, but I need to be able to destroy the tubes. Right, I'll do it in weakness order. Hey, Phoenix, wrong? <laughs> I'm going to be coming back to this level a lot anyway, so. Thanks, D Rock. I have played X and X2. I don't think I've ever played anything after X2, so I'll try to fix that starting today. 
I think I've heard this song more than any other song in Mega Man, just because trying to get the uh, Hadouken. Someone earlier was recommending X Men or er, X Five. This next one is the one where we want to rush to get the heart before it catches up to us. Yes, the plan is to get the Hadouken, of course. Ooh! Alright, so you can do that without killing it, but you gotta be really quick. I think the Atomic Fire is the best for killing it, but we'll try this. Phew! Just in time. Yeah, I've heard that, Phoenix. Um, somebody was suggesting X5, but the Super Nintendo just, it, I don't know, it feels so right. I really like the style of graphics, you know, the very clean 16-bit style. That's so what we have to do to get the Hadouken way later. Oh, we already used all our Spark Mandrel. Alright, I guess we're fighting Armor and Armadillo the old fashioned way. <laughs> Whoops, didn't mean to do that. I mean, probably turn that off after this fight. Yeah, same here. My heart is with the X-Series. I like sticking to walls and dodging and dashing and all that. Well, worst case scenario, if we game over, we've got a save thing now, so... We don't need to kill that thing quite so quickly next time. Alright, let's try it again without using up all of our Spark Mandrel this time. We got the upgrade though, so... Unfortunately, this stage is fairly quick.
Come on, Met. There we go. <laughs> and you'll definitely hear it a thousand times. I don't think that if you use, if you just use the Mega Buster, if it's enough, we'll see, I guess. Yeah, it's not. I'm glad I had the Spark Mandrel before, so I was able to get it without having the fire. Let's go. We'll full up when we dash across. Mega Man music is pretty bitchin' in general, I would say. There we go. Thank you. And let's do this again. Let's launch Octopus next, right? Temporary invincibility. It's not just for Mega Man anymore. Ray. Got it, thank you. Then after launch octopus, I think it's Boomer Coanger. Hey, thanks for following, Phoenix Strong. It's delight to have you. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Once I get a little bit bigger, I'm going to be doing a stream that shows a walkthrough for how to do beat sprites. When you're as small as me, it's kind of tough to get one of those started right now, you know? Not getting a lot of people discovering you when you're showing how to do beat sprites. <laughs> Then got to go back to some of the levels and get some of the upgrades. All right, this is the last one was just a practice for this version. Shh. I did not deserve to live there or there. I got two gimmies there. I did not deserve to live at all. I think one of these is a secret, right? Maybe it's not here. Aha. That's all it is. There's another one that's got a heart capsule, I think. Thank you. 
If I screwed up getting it, I may have just. So we're about to find out. Let's go. We'll come back to the stage if we have to later. Frame rate slow down. Hmm. It's cool, Super Nintendo. You got this. It's like I'm playing pre-remake Binding of Isaac. <laughs> Come out. Hey Shibuya. How's it going? There we go. I don't think that lets me travel. Oh, it does let me travel backwards. Just want to double check back here real quick. Not much, not much. Doing Mega Man Day today. Beat Mega Man 2 a little bit ago. No, I don't think we missed anything back here. I think it might be later. Pretty sure there's an area you can climb up and get a heart capsule. I might be crazy. No, I guess I was crazy. Or I just missed it and it was way further back. Alright. Go! Launch Octopus Guy. Might have to do a legit fight against him if we keep up this rate of getting our asses kicked. Come on, so close! There we go. Oh, that was close. It's over by the boat thing. Oh, so you like go down, like the boat crashes into the ground and then you can go down and get it? Alright, I'll come back to the level and get it. Thank you. Appreciate the tip. That oh, was close. <laughs> I don't think I deserve that one. Boomer Coanger. Who's basically Quick Man. Stop pretending. And this song is gonna be uh, some boss battle music, likely. Mace Joe. Oh, come on. Cutman 2.0. All right. He's he's supposed to be an animal, right? Like, is a kuwanger a thing? Is that an animal? Hmm. I don't know if there's like some really good weapon for killing that guy. Ah, let's move along. I feel like those bots are really just there to keep you from cheating. Like, just jumping over them all the time.
Oh, Chibuya, you are my hero. That is exactly the kind of thing that I want to hear about in this chat. Thank you. Awesome. It just doesn't translate to English. They didn't really try to. They're just like, let's just let's just make it rhyme with uh, boomerang ish. <laughs> Very nice, Apex. How could you kill those turtles? They're not even hurting you. They're just defending themselves. You probably shouldn't do the X games if she doesn't like killing animals, because like all of the bots are animals, all the mavericks. Uh, I feel like I'm, I'm flashing back. There's a heart capsule a little bit. Do you need to have the shotgun ice powered up to be able to get? Yeah, that one. You need to. There's no way you can get up there without it, right? Otherwise, I'm going to go crazy here trying to do it. No, we got to power it up and come back. There's Shibuya with the slash thread. What? You gotta be joking me. <sighs> Don't tell me this, guys, because now we're gonna... Look what you've done. You could have just lied to me. I mean, I've done some of these really hard-as-fuck bullshits before, but... It's from here, right? It doesn't seem like it's correct. You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> See what happens. See what happens, Larry. You gotta be kidding me. I, I'm gonna have to look this up because... I know it's April Fools. You gotta be joking me. So they're like, what? He like touches the bottom pixel of the balcony? God, my hand's cramping. It's like that uh, the level where you have to use the helmet to get the little boxes and you have to land it just right. You have to like land exactly on the right pixel. Come on. Oh my god. All right, we will actually <laughs> we'll give it uh 3 minutes. If I haven't done it by 12.29 on my clock, I'll not subject everyone to this for much longer. Yeah, I have flashbacks of PTSD of trying to get this unsuccessfully <laughs> at great length. Is there anything you can press to like improve your speed? Like if you press the out from the wall at a certain time, do you go out faster or higher or something? It doesn't seem to be making a difference really when I press it. I guess that's kind of a thing that would be hard to explain to me if there was such a thing. Oh, really? That seems the second horizontal bar? I'm gonna hit my head on the top though. How is that even possible? You mean you're not talking about the one that's so okay, so there's this thing right here. Oh this okay, I got you. The from the top. Not the one at the top. Yeah.
Yeah, one more minute of this nonsense. And we're coming back with shotgun ice. <laughs> I'm not entirely convinced y'all aren't April Fools pranking me. I'll look it up afterward. Get it with the boomerang. God damn it. Alright. We'll come back. Oh, boomerang. I guess that makes more sense. I've always done it with shotgun ice. Like, make a little platform. Those are called perler beads. Like I said, I'm eventually going to do a stream where I explain how to make them uh, further down the line. Uh, but if you want to look into it, you can go to any arts and crafts store and buy them. They're these uh, plastic colored beads, and you have a little pegboard that you set them up on. There we go. Um, so you arrange the beads on the pegboard, and then you use an iron to melt them together. And because they're sprites, they... Uh, they work really well with it, right? Because one pixel equals one bead. So you go to just any cheap arts and crafts store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Um, pick it up for like 15 bucks. Look up your favorite sprite. I'd recommend if you've never done a bead sprite before that you start with an easy one like NES era. And live so I have two. Ooh, Nintendo Direct. Is there any whispers of what they're going to be talking about? I got a bunch of them around my apartment. I'm gonna let him, well, yeah, I'm gonna let him kill me. I don't know if you'll be able to see it here, let me try. There's one, uh, two of them right there. Let me check the video. Yeah, I don't know if you can make it out, but that's Chill Penguin and Heat Man uh, around my thermostat. And there's a bunch of other ones around the apartment. I think Haypax is in chat. He's made uh, perler beads with me before. Cool, dude. Well, let me know. I like watching those Nintendo Directs. Hands all cramped from trying to do that stupid jump. <laughs> Sting chameleons next. Now, once we have all the abilities, we'll go back and get all the power ups. You can get the body capsule here. Yes, plan is to get Hadoken. I'm gonna need some help confirming what you do and do not need to do. Kid Dylan was under the impression that you had to, like, not die at all, which I don't think is true. Or not take any damage on your way there, I should say. Remember this thing being kind of hard. Maybe not. 
I do need to get every power up, which we'll definitely go back and do. And you get all hearts, all sub tanks, all that stuff from the eight levels, right? You don't have to mess around with Sigma's levels at all. Ooh. Going so well. Okay, cool. Got it. Thank you. Okay, good. Hooray! Sweet. Yeah, if I knew my upgrades better, I've only... I've played this game... probably 20 or 30 times, but most of it was a long, long time ago, so... If I knew my upgrades, I'd probably go through, like Hapax was saying, and try to get all the upgrades first. It looks kind of weird him having the body armor and the foot armor. I don't think I've ever just had those two. But also having the helmet. This Kragman uh, is an enemy that I'm using to try to teach the different defenses that you have in Dungeons and Dragons, like AC, Reflex, Will. Oh, drop down to get the heart? Let me head back. Talking like here? Oh, sweet. Right on. Oh, shit. I got it now. Got it. We're good. <laughs> Thumbs up. Understand what I need to do. Thank you. Would have missed it and had to come back. Do you stream it, Shibuya? Like speedrun? I'll have to shoot you a follow here soon. Cool, man. Yeah, let me uh, do that while I'm thinking about it. One sec. Thank you. Don't have to check you out. I'm just doing this as a casual playthrough, but it'd be really cool to watch someone speedrunning it. I love like learning all the stuff you can learn. Watching Earthbound speedrunners has been really fun, in particular. My favorite game, but did not know the kind of crazy stuff you could do in speedruns. Oh, come on. There we go.
So what are the main glitches? Uh, Apex mentioned earlier there's a glitch where if you like charge and shoot a regular lemon it does as much damage as a fully charged shot. Is there anything else really big in this game? control which direction they went, you know? Yeah, we're gonna get it, Q-Tiger, all day. All right, well, we didn't, fortunately, Boomeranger is easy to get back, so we didn't completely waste that run. Really? Okay, maybe that's my problem. Oh, no kidding. It always goes up if you're on the ground. Like, why does it keep going down? <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> awesome. Today I learned. There we go. Saving me time and hassle. <laughs> hey, thanks for following, Shibuya. Appreciate it. I'll check you out when I see you streaming Big Man. Sting. There's another, I think the helmet's here. Tubes you gotta blow up. I remember the heart up here in the top left. You gotta like jump from all the way in the corner. It's a big leap of faith. This is a great place to lose a bunch of lives for falling off the edge. I think the background always reminded me of those little like play mats we had as little kids. Like a city on them. Now, do I need to have atomic fire to bust this open? It doesn't sound like it. It's not like that's doing damage. Okay, I guess not. I thought I did as a kid. Must have been mistaken. This song's pretty sweet.
Ice does? Okay, cool. Energy tank. Pretty late in the game to finally get one, but hey. Yeah, yeah. One step, Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember where the energy tank is. It's like down here, right? Or something like that. Not here, but this general area. There's like a secret, um... You gotta like shoot through the little fire tanks. For some reason, this level's layout is stuck with me, probably because I died a lot on it as a kid, falling off of it. Or I mean the heart tank, I'm sorry. Not the energy tank. Or... Oh no no no, I must be thinking of the helmet. The helmet upgrade. Yeah yeah, down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is not here, but still. I got the idea. <laughs> I know what we're talking about. It's down to the right somewhere, and there's some fire things that I have to shoot through. In here, right? It looks like you shouldn't need to come down here, but you totally do. This is another one where I don't think you actually need the helmet to get the uh, arm part, right? Because you can just... It sucks, but you can just jump at it just right and get it with your legs. Hooray. All right, well, Storm Eagle stage is 100%ed. Oh, Shibuya, I was asking earlier, is there any point in doing RNG manipulation in Mega Man X? I imagine you can, but I imagine it's not like a RPG where you can do it so easily, or even really get much benefit out of it. Dude, I can't imagine fighting this guy without the dash. Apex was mentioning that, like, um, Chill Penguin in particular does a move pretty randomly that makes him immune that would make you take extra time to beat him. Well, I'll leave it to Shibuya to answer that, but my expectation is that it's like the RNG is based on what buttons are being pressed at a certain time and what all is on the screen. Oh, and Earthbound. Uh, Earthbound, it's based on the step counter and on the number of times you press the menu. Like, if you watch Phallix when he speedruns, he'll spam the menu at certain times. Particularly, if I remember right, in the Ness's Nightmare fight, he'll try to force Ness's Nightmare to use uh, an ability on himself that will kill himself. By manipulating the RNG, by pressing... He presses the menu, like, 96 times or some absurd number before he starts the fight. Pretty cool.
Here we go. So it begins. I like that they added something like this that's kind of a pain in the butt. There's not really an easier way to do it, because, like, the easier way to do it is to get the thing that's up there. Imagine if you're speedrunning, you gotta be, like, basically frame perfect at this. This wouldn't be acceptable. Ah! Got up there and then I whisked out. Almost had it there. I might be screwed now, though. Am I screwed if I just break the bottom right one? Do I have to restart or die? I think I am. I don't think I can get up there now. All right. Can you let me know if I'm... Do you know if I'm screwed right now? Oh, okay. Oh, God. It's even worse now. I keep seeing Mega Man, he like, for just a split second. Ah! Alright. And I can still get it now, or no, not now? How can I get to that wall now? I would have been still mashing, I guess. Now I think I gotta go die and come back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we'll get it. Oh yeah, you have to beat the level first, don't you? It's cool. Do better at killing me. another PTSD moment. <laughs> I have very strong memories of getting that stupid thing going for it anyway. I don't think I've ever actually seen this stage on fire like it's supposed to be. I always beat Chill Penguin first. Alright, here we go again. Are you serious? I come back and got it on the first try. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I don't know how many of you just watched me try to do that for like five minutes unsuccessfully and then come back and do it on the first try. <laughs> Pretty great. Hooray. Now I can get all the things. Is there an energy tank in here? No, just a one up, I think, right? Oh, nope, never mind. Thought so. Cool, thank you.
God, I'm so glad I... Like, if I use some of my special abilities and then switch over, uh, then I pick up those tanks that they actually start supplying my other items. I don't have to, like, pause and switch to the right weapon like you do in Mega Man 2. After this, we're going to go clean up, get all the stuff that we're missing. Then we'll go get Hadouken, and then we'll go fight Sigma. We have to do this stage first. Okay, so ones that I know we've skipped. We missed the decoy octopus one with the ship, so we'll go do that one. Where are the other two energy tanks? We got two of them. One we got was uh. We got Storm Eagle, and we got Flame Mammoth just now, and there's some other ones that I know we're missing. Mm, don't think I got Spark Mandrel. Armadillo and Spark Mandrel, got it. Thank you. Thanks, Apex. Hey DPD, how's it going? Whew. Once again with the shouldn't be alive. <laughs> so after I sink this boat, I can go get it. It looked like it was dying. Doing all right. Having a pretty fun Mega Man day so far. I beat Mega Man 2, Mega Man X now. After this, we're going to do Mega Man 8. <laughs> Just because the uh, cutscenes in the game are horrible. And i got to share them with some people again. Alright, see you later, d -Rock. Hopefully you'll be back in time for Mega Man 8. Find out, Meteo. You'll find Dr. Wowie. Okay, I remember this now. It's a repeat fight against this guy, but in a harder arena. And harder-ish. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. That's helpful. Cool, thank you. Yeah, the PS1. It's so bad. And it's not like 
power glove bad, like bad in the 80s sense of the word. It's bad in the it's a bad game sense of the word. <laughs> oh, I guess the, the actual like gameplay and the robot masters aren't so bad, but oh my god, the cutscenes are horrible. Bad writing, bad voice acting, just. Yeah, Shibuya is a speedrunner. So I'm a follow. Alright, so Spark Mandrel. I'm trying to remember, I know I'm missing the Boomer Kawanger heart thing. Should be able to get, there's a heart container here now that I can get now that I've beaten this stage. Clown Man, uh, yep. That's the one. Right, because we didn't have the boomerang when we came here last time. I think that's all for this level, though. Really, it's the boomerang I have to use to get it, right? Am I just not doing it right? Hold on. Oh, to get it to like loop down. There it is. Thank you. I think that's all I need in that level for now. Ah, so that's how it works. Let's get the Boomer Quanger thing. Tornado Tunyon. <laughs> it's like, all right, you guys are you guys are stretching it now. Onions don't really count as aminals. Imagine there's some cool, um, what do you call it, like, flinching optimization where sometimes you want to flinch. It's not worth trying to dodge the enemy when you're speedrunning it. What's that, D-Rock? <laughs> Tomorito Tunyon. <laughs> I believe you. Is X6, uh... Post Inafune? No, it's not. Inafune didn't get fired until very recently. Aha! Uh -huh. Just feel like there is some April Fools missing today. <laughs> All right. I so I never did that with a boomerang. I don't know why it didn't occur to me. I've always made a little ice platform and ridden it out there, and then jumped off the ice platform at exactly the right moment to land on the thing. It sounds kind of ridiculous now that I'm describing it in public. <laughs> It's like the uh, Sonic 3 Carnival Stage drum thing. Like, there's a really easy way to do that, and then there's my idiot way of doing it. Uh, give me one sec while I look up where all the things are in this one. See if there's any that I obviously missed. Heart locations, heart tanks. Okay. Got the one in Flame Mammoth. Got that one. That one. Got that one. That one. 
So we have all the heart tanks. So we just need the energy tank, and then we can start doing the armadillo level. So the armadillo thing, we just we need to have start by having more than th like three lives, so that we can afford to die three times. Then we need to ride this thing all the way to the end, jump up and get the health container, and then jump off the cliff and die. Yeah, go ahead, D-Rock, I trust you. Oh, chill penguin's heart tank. Well, let me get the... well... No, I didn't. Um, I didn't mean to die right there. We'll farm some bats for the lives we need. Is there an ideal place to farm for lives, by the way? They're just fighting bats. Thanks, Apex. Good looking out, man. You have to get the sub tank and then like leave the level and then start over from scratch. Gotcha. Oh, cool. It's convenient that they put that there. Oh my god. I'm in mean, this big thing that, like, hates fat stuff. I should go destroy that thing, huh? That works, too. There it is. Well, we'll go get the energy tank. And then we'll start the level over from scratch, just to make sure. Oh yeah, I see it. That's cool. The little, uh, huh, that's awesome. And there's my life. Thank you. Oh, I never noticed that before. That's really cool. Little Easter egg. Respawns easily, too. Awesome. Never knew about that. That's really cool. That's a fine number. I'll go ahead and get nine. Um, where exactly is the energy tank? Well, let me see if I find it. If I pass it, like, start screaming at me in chat. Hey, you see all these bats? I didn't notice them at all. That's really cool. Secret old school Mega Man bat. Pretty sweet. I'm guessing the energy tank is like, don't ride the thing for too long, get off and look around first. Yeah, wow, I used to just hang out here and farm bats for lives, I didn't know about that. Super cool. So it's behind him. Oh, there it is. I shouldn't have missed that the first time. Alright, so we should have everything now. We. We don't need to fill the energy tanks, do we? We just need to have them unlocked. So we should have all the heart tanks, all the abilities. Four energy tanks. We're going to try to get Hadouken. We ride the minecart all the way to the end, jump up, get the little uh, 
health power up, and then commit suicide. Do that three times. Okay, cool. It's a good place to fill your energy tanks here. There's also the spot right before Sigma. Game's pretty kind in that regard. Oh, really? Dude, I thought that you... Oh, shit. I didn't know that guy could one-hit you. Well, let me start over so I don't screw that up. I thought you had to get there without being hit as a kid. So I'd give up every time I took damage. Secret bat. Whoa. Game's momentum, give it a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant smashy tank. With spikes. Yeah, yeah, you... Rub it in. Laugh it up, fuzzballs. <laughs> I mean, look how dangerous it looks. I don't know if I've ever seen a more dangerous robot in my life. Ugh. Unnecessary. You're unnecessary, says Andrew. one where I think you actually don't want to be able to charge the fire or you can just like tap it really fast yeah all right this is part one Get the frame rate to shit itself here it's all the graphics on the screen just can't take it. So you're saying the fact that I saw it was good enough. I could even like get up there by doing this and that would be fine. Now I need to start the level over now, right? I can't start from here. I have to exit and start again. I'll wait for a response. <laughs> You just have to see it. No, I can just go again? Okay. Cool. Yeah, dude, I thought it was so restrictive as a kid. I thought you had to, like, start over. Thanks, Shibu, you're saving me lots of time. I saw it, but I'm going to go up there just in case. I want to risk it. Okay, so the next time we do that, Theory Helds will be able to unlock Hadoken this time. Unless if we did something wrong, we're missing a power-up. I think we're okay. Okay. 
the reason it's Hadouken, it's a uh, Ryu's move from Street Fighter, which is also a Capcom property. I think he gets Tetsumaki, Shorpuk, Yaku, and Shoryuken in the other ones. That might be false, but it sounds like it's correct. Oh no, I must have screwed something up. I'll do one more, just to make sure. I must be missing something. Hmm. Let me just double check real quick. Hadoken. Four trips are required. No, that was correct. I thought it was three. I think I have all of them. I'll look through the list one more time after this, just to make sure. If I'm missing something, a heart would make sense. There it is. I just had to do it four times. I give you a special present. Now, enter the capsule, please. I like how he's dressed like Ryu. Like, the game doesn't tell you what to do either. You just have to get it, figure it out. Cool. Alright. Go for the final stretch then. You can only use it at full health, I think, too. Sub zero. Sigma time! Screw you, Vile. Things don't sound good in there, man. Ancient weapons, huh? Can you actually beat him here, or is this a scripted fight? Like the first one. So no, you can't perfectly avoid him. Like, you can try to use temporary invincibility to get around him a little bit. Oh, 
Yeah, I think so. So the speedrunner would try to get as low on health as possible here. Even though I opened with a... Hadouken. Oh no! <laughs> now he's got a health bar. Uh, I think it hit him while he was traveling, so it didn't get the one shot. Okay, I think he was like in an uh, invincibility frame animation, so even though it hit him, it didn't one shot him. We don't really need it to beat him though, he's kind of a pushover once you he loses his bot. Hooray! Give me your sword, Legless Zero. So is there an official canon relationship between Zero and Proto Man? I always assume that Zero is the new model of Proto Man. That assumption is built on folly and whimsy, not on evidence. Let's use the homing missiles, maybe. Motherfucker. Just skip past it. Oh, interesting. Wait, what's he weak against again? It might actually be this one. Boss rush. I would do boss rushes in my D and D game if battles didn't take for frickin' ever. <laughs> I guess I don't know who's up next, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, it's the spider thing, isn't it? Was it weak against anything? 
Remember this thing giving me trouble. I'm gonna wait until I lose a life, fight it from full health, and then use some uh, energy tanks as needed. See, it shows you where it's gonna go if you follow it. Ice, thank you. Oh, I kind of just want to use the Mega Buster. You can be more ready for the little mini spiders. We'll see. <laughs> Those mini spiders. It's like, yeah, hey, I might actually win this. Nope. <laughs> Now we can use the ice one if we got full health. We don't need to use energy tanks. Yeah, so it shows you where he's gonna land. Kind of. You have to quickly figure it out in your head. Yeah, which I'm failing to do both times here. Let's stick with Buster. If I have to, I'll use ener one energy tank. Give us a reason to pick up pickups after this, anyway. Kind of excessive for this guy, but... Well, next time I get hit, I'll use an energy tank. Whoops. So he always takes every intersection is the way that it works. And he gets a little bit faster as he goes like a... Space Invader. One more. Hooray! That wasn't so bad. First try. <laughs> One sec. Yeah. Song is pretty cool. <laughs> Just referring to the Lego movie with uh, Batman. He throws like 50 things. Finally, he hits after 50 things, and Will Arnett's like, first try. Chill Penguin, right?
finally actually get to use this. It's the guy in our thermostat, Andrew. Hey Nakazami, how's it going? I need to stick onto this in case there's a secret, but I don't think there are any more secrets. Doing all right, having a pretty good day here, doing Mega Man playthroughs. Did Mega Man 2, just doing Mega Man X now. I'm gonna switch to uh, Mega Man 8 when we beat this, just because the cutscenes are so horrible and it'll be great to share in that pain with other people. Storm Eagle? Yeah. Ah, that's the opposite of the thing I want to use. Lucky that his version of that attack doesn't damage me. <laughs> Absolutely, Misery Loves Company. If you've never heard the cutscenes in Mega Man 8, you have to. <laughs> Especially the ones where it sounds like Dr. Light's voice actor, like, he really just gave it one take. He, like, stumbles on the word and everyone's like, eh, whatever, who cares, it's Mega Man. What's in here? It's about to find out, I guess. Got plenty of lives to go around, so. This seems familiar. Any uh, secret to this one? Other than use all my sub tanks? <laughs> Like, Mega Buster doesn't seem to be correct for this fight at all. Hmm. I'll fight it again and I'll use my sub tanks if I have to. Got a better sense of how to handle it now. Oh, mother. Thanks, Apex. <laughs> I promise I didn't mean to just jump on some spikes right there. I was so excited by your message. He is weak against Sting Chameleon, no kidding. Yeah, that's a pretty big difference. Usually, like, if an enemy is weak, it's not such a huge deal compared to the Mega Buster, but that makes a huge difference. Evil robot nose! Oh god. Now I understand what's happening. I should not have gotten that. <laughs> That last hit should have killed me. It's okay, I'll take it. Shh. 
Shut up. It's like a giant spark mandrel face. <laughs> the wire. Like, are you out of things? You can fight these guys and get things. Right, stay on the ground this time. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize that its arcing was based on where you were in the jump. Come on. There we go. Hey, welcome back, D-Rock. Launch Octopus, which is the rolling shield, I think. I think he's the least weak to the thing he's weak against. But he just has a lot of environmental things that sort of negate it. Sort of like Airman and Leaf Shield. Airman's really good at using all of his abilities to keep Leaf Shield from actually being effective. Guess I'd use the ice to get that. Okay, I don't really need it. I'm doing fine.
Can't you like break his trunk somehow? Like a different person's ability? I feel like I've done that before. If you know anything here, let me know. What's up, okay guys? How's it going? <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Uh-oh. <laughs> I could hear that. The hamburger enemies in Barbie. I was doing alright in that one. When she starts moving around at the end, it gets a little bit tougher. I feel like the spikes are an instant kill, too, and his teeth. Wanger, thanks. Oh, he's super weak. You're not even kidding. You weren't jerking at all, ding. Thanks, Apex. That's teamwork. All right, um, just go. I think we got enough lives to do this thing. Got lives, we could fill up our sub tanks here pretty easily. Oh, when I say have enough lives, I mean not at all. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't really matter. If we die, we can go farm up nine lives and all that fun stuff. It's like, do you need to fill up your sub tanks? Let me help you. Let me just uh, get a rhythm here, guys. Oh, seriously? Let me try that. Wait, launch octopus shield, you mean the, um, the roll shield, right? This one? Got it. Thank you. And it fills back up pretty quickly. Armadillo, yeah. Gotcha. Well, we got everything. Cool, we'll do that for next time if we need to. Now, are there any weaknesses I should know about other than the obvious of, uh... 
A Doken? Oh, so much for Hadouken. <laughs> Sparks on Jedi Sigma? Okay. I use uh, the Sigma sprite for these really important group of characters, like uh, Warforged kind of characters in D&D, &D, and I'm so used to seeing my modification of the Sigma sprite, then it's kind of weird seeing in the original version. <laughs> Like, that's right, he has, like, brown boots. Alright, shield, you say. But we could also just try to... It'd be really hard to aim a uh, Hadouken all the way up there, though. a little close there, huh? Cutting it super close. It might not be happening this run. Whew, not good. I think we can get it next time though. I got a better feel of the best way to handle that fight. Welcome back, sneakers. Getting our energy tanks back full. <laughs> hey, noisy German. It's been a while. How's it going? Is there an easy way for me to um, discharge this shield? Because this is a cool way of doing this, but it also makes it harder for me to time my um, uh, my Hadoken at the start of the fight. Oh, I guess I could just do that. Never mind. Ooh. 
Dude, that would be perfect for the Wii U. I'm really looking forward to watching somebody else play that game. <laughs> yeah, they can see a lot of ways they could use the gamepad for that. Did they come out with anything else? Sneakers? Hi Ben, can I help you? Hi, Ben. I think that's it, yeah? Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can pull off the immediate Hadoken this time. Oh, cool. Yep, so much for that. The dog weak against anything? Not that he's particularly hard, but just so I can save some health. I think Mega Buster might just be best, even if he is weak against something else. Make some flinch and everything. Ah, very good. Thank you. We did alright though, all told. Ah, oh, come on, I should be able to do a better job of dodging that. doing worse than last time, that's okay. Take it a little bit slower. I don't know if anyone else ever has this problem where you're like really cautious the first time you attempt something and you do really well. And then you fail on the next part, and you start being not cautious while you rush to get back to the part that you, know, you want to attempt again. Hey, Renee Mayork, how's it going? Hadoken's going to be tough. I'd have to... Well, I guess if I use an energy tank at just the right time. Doing all right. A Mega Man day. Pretty delightful so far. It's not worth it. Just trying to force my way up there. Not quite full. Wouldn't be able to do a Hadouken. Nice. Let the credits run. Mega Man 8 is next. <laughs> Please uh, join me in my suffering.
Peace has been restored. All right, later Shibuya. Thanks again for joining. Thanks for helping out. The only the X Buster on his hand knows for sure. It's working. <laughs> I'll let the credits finish running in uh, Mega Man X. Let me throw up the BRB sign real quick. I gotta go feed the cats because they're freaking out. I'll be back in four or five minutes. The music. <laughs> it's not over yet. I love the credits in Mega Man games. They're like, they were just like, yeah, just call me whatever. Never like people's full names. It's like White Rock. <laughs> no problem, Capcom. It was my pleasure. All right, hold on to your butts, guys. It's time for.